Hmm. The people on my YouTube video told me. I found it! <laughs> I found it, you toxic. Are you proud of me, everybody? Woohoo! So, the new Operation Wildfire is live. I'm just gonna try to walk you through everything you need to know about the operation and what has actually been updated. As already said, new case, new cast has been updated. New skins, new knife. The operation itself, Operation Wildfire, you can get the excess pass for $599. So that's obviously going to be in your currency if you're in Counter-Strike right now. For the Germans, we have it in 529 euros. I bought it. You can buy it right here. And you get it in your inventory. And you just got to use the item. And you get one of those beautiful Operation Wildfire Challenge coins. Boom, baby. The operation will last up until the 17th of June, if I got that correct from the news. And as you can see already on the right, we have uh, upcoming Blitz missions. Gemini campaigns, Wildfire campaigns. If any one of you is actually awake right now and can play, I'd recommend playing because you have two extra missions. That means you get further in the operation than others but those are only extra two missions so if you have the time and if you want to you can obviously do that looking into it the campaigns and the general operation is not very different from the other ones we have two different ones gemini wildfire you can get a map you can see all these missions that you can complete just like last time it's going to walk you through all the new maps casual modes arms race modes co-op modes and all this kind of good stuff this is the second one for wildfire Beautiful maps, beautiful maps. You have two different scoreboards, the active duty and the operation, the competitive ones, the leaderboards, of course, where you can compare between all of your friends, matches won, percentage, MVPs, hours played, kills, all of these stats where you can just, yeah, who's got the biggest internet penis? Now, as per usual, an operation comes with new maps. We have seven different maps, Cruise, is the first one right here. It is the only map that is a hostage rescue map. That means we have seven maps, six of them which are bomb diffusal as in DE underscore maps, and one of them which is a hostage as in CS underscore map. So starting off with Bruce, the hostage map, a few screenshots right here and there. Then we're gonna go over to the map Coast, made by Ornette Baboon. A historic Italian village has become a terrorist target. Come for the bomb disposal, stay for the lemon gella did i say that right italian i'm very sorry about that we have the map empire we have the map mikla we have the map royal and santorini i think everyone is pretty much aware by santorini though it's been all over reddit these days so i'm looking forward to playing that definitely we still have tulip and rvc nuke is back i have a video on that on my channel already same with the case opening i have that on my channel as well the case skins are kind of Average, I'd say, except the two, the AK and the M4. The AWP is pretty cool as well. Obviously, the new knife. Let's see how that one plays out. I do not own it. <coughs> F you, Nick Bungeon. <laughs> I do not own it, though. I wasn't lucky enough. Let's see. Maybe I'm going to get it in another case opening. Who knows? I hope so. And as usual, if you play these missions, you're going to get drops from the Cobblestone, Overpass, Cash, Guards and Monsters, Chops, Shop, Chop, 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 Shop, <laughs> Collection, and the Rising Sun collections. No new collection, that means no skins that you do not know already. I guess most importantly, the Dragon Lore still drops. Yay! Everybody go play Cobblestone and give me your Dragon Lore, thank you. If you want to see everything in detail that has been changed on Nuke, I'm going to link down below the blog post, Nuke is back. You can pretty much just go ahead and see exactly, look at that difference. The A bump side, you can look at the differences from all of these different angles the b-bomb said holy hell whoever shopped this this looks really good browse there check everything out how does it look right now what has been changed overall they've also just wrote down kind of what their goal was and what their intentions were with doing some stuff so if you're interested in how the developers actually work as well i recommend reading it it's actually interesting to really read up on it and yeah 
Then also I'm gonna link down below in the description the Operation Wildfire blog post where you have everything once again in proper detail all written down. I think one of the coolest additions are these Blitz missions. It seems like you're gonna have two hours to complete these missions and then you're gonna get extra XP. After these two hours, these missions are gonna be wiped of the game for you. I'm guessing you're not gonna be able to do them anyway, all of them, unless you're literally 24 seven in Counter-Strike. On the screen as well, you see right now, last but not least, the Bowie knife. That is the new knife that is in the game. And I've seen it in a few videos already and that thing looks huge as hell. God bless me, please let me unbox one. There have been some fixes to Cache and Mirage. Nothing all too huge. I'm just gonna link that down below in the description as well. You're gonna have all the change logs in there so you can just read up on it shortly. It's nothing big, nothing super huge on these maps. But anyway, we should also acknowledge that there has been some changes on the maps. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video and on the live stream. Peace out. Have a nice day, dudes.